Hi folks, Dave Waring here again with FitSmallBusiness.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we discussed how to write the perfect job description. In today's video we're going to continue our series on how to hire and manage with a look at where to advertise that job description. So let's get started. Number one, your network. The best candidates come from people you are connected to directly. Second to that are people that are referred to you by people you are connected to directly. Post a link to your job description as a status update on Facebook and LinkedIn, as well as any other social networks that you're a part of. For those who you know have connections to the type of people you are looking for, email them and ask directly. Number two, the major job boards. LinkedIn, Indeed, Monster, and CareerBuilder are the four largest sites where you can advertise your job. Here is an overview of each. With 41 million unique U.S. visitors a month, LinkedIn is the largest site in terms of traffic where you can advertise your job. Advertising a job posting on LinkedIn costs between $195 and $395, depending on location. Next in line is Indeed.com, with 25.8 million unique U.S. visitors a month. In order to advertise a posting on Indeed, you pay by the click. The cost per click is anywhere between $0.25 cents and $1.50. CareerBuilder.com and Monster.com round out the third and fourth spots with 19.8 million and 16.7 unique U.S. visitors a month, respectively. CareerBuilder.com has a flat $419 fee to post your job. Monster offers two primary packages. The first, which is for lower wage jobs, costs $119, and the second, which is for higher level white collar jobs, is $395. Who do we recommend? Indeed.com offers the best value for the money. They are the largest traditional job board, and we like the fact that with Indeed, you do not pay unless someone clicks your job ad. Indeed also gives you the ability to search their resume database for free and email candidates for just $1 an email. All of the other services charge several hundred dollars extra for resume search and the ability to reach out to candidates who have not already applied to your position. There are two exceptions to this. If you are looking for highly skilled labor, then LinkedIn is going to offer the widest pool of candidates and is worth the extra costs and efforts involved. If you are looking for low skill labor, then Monster.com's $119 offer for this type of posting is the best deal. Number 3. Facebook Ads With over a billion active members, it's likely that a large percentage of the candidates you want to hire are on Facebook. What you probably didn't know, however, is that you can run targeted ads for your job posting based on things like education level and where they went to school, current workplace, interests, and pages they have liked. For more on how to advertise your job on Facebook and to get a free $50 ad coupon, see our guide on Facebook advertising which I've included a link to in the resources link below this video. Number 4. Industry Events and Online Groups Find out the industry events, meetups, and online groups that the types of people you want to hire attend and go there and start talking to people. LinkedIn groups are another great resource here. Number 5. Craigslist and the Niche Job Boards If you are hiring for lower skilled workers, then in addition to advertising the fact you are hiring in your store, you may also want to place an ad on Craigslist. It costs $25 per listing. There are also specific niche sites out there with some of the more popular being Dice.com for hiring IT talent, Ladders.com for advertising jobs that pay over 100 k AllRetailJobs.com for retail positions, and eFinancialCareers.com for finance jobs. SmartRecruiters.com has a great list of the top 50 niche job boards, which you can also find in the resources link below this video. That's our lesson for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Also be sure to stay tuned for the next video in this series where we will discuss how to manage. For more great advice on how to start and run a successful small business, be sure to visit us at fitsmallbusiness.com today. Thanks for watching.